Hi, welcome to another Archicad speed modeling tutorial. This time I show you how to do a sloped road marking. With that, you know, if you don't know exactly how to do it, it can take you quite a while. Um, okay, let's start with the sloping road. I'll show you what I got here. Okay, it's nicely sloping up, just some pavement, curbs. And I want to add some road markings now. The best way to do it, well, what I do is, I use the wall tool and just give it thickness, obviously material, and I let's say for now I put it on road paint. The height, put it on zero, and I got a 10 meter high wall. What's important, I'll show you in a moment, is that it obviously sticks out above the road and goes all the way down. So let's just draw just a marking here. All right, let's just sort of paint there. So what you do is we can just now increase this and multi multiply it and let's just spread it. I think spread is the best way. There we go, spread and we maybe space it. I don't know, just for the purpose of now, four meters. So we just space them along. There we go. So if you look now, see they're sticking all out perfectly nice. Um, above, above the road surface. Now obviously you can just do anything you want, you can put throughout um, arrows, you put uh, pedestrians, any other line marking, marking you need. You just use the wall tool, but you, have, you can obviously use the slab tool or any other tool if you like. Okay, I prepared something earlier, it just um, delete those again, and I put them on a layer called cutting elements. So if I show you that layer now, maybe open a bit. There you go, cutting elements. All right, so I prepared this. You can see I put some arrows in, pedestrians to walk over, any other line um, road markings. So if you look in 3D now, you can see they're all sticking out and they're going further down. All right, so that's quite important. So all you gotta do now is actually quite simple this way. You can now select the road markings. I grouped it, so I can select more than one, and we use the solid element operation. So I got all this selected, getting target elements, there you go, it tells us 231 of them, let's do that. And for the operating element, obviously I want the road. So there you go. What we have to do next is we intersect and we execute. There you go. So for now, what you can see is they cut nicely just where the road surface is. The one little problem we have, as you can see there, those two surfaces, they just are exactly the same height. So this doesn't look nice, it wouldn't render correctly. Now what you can do is, I mean a lot of people maybe think now, okay, let's, let's just elevate the road markings. I can do that quickly if you want to and, and show you what happens. Let's just select them. Now if I elevate them, let's just to make it very clear, let's just elevate them by 150. Alright, you maybe saw it did elevate them, but because we got the cutting plane still in, in place, which is the road, it just keeps cutting it off. So you can't really say, oh I want this like just 2 or 5 mil above the road. So the trick is, while it's all selected, do a right click and we convert the selection to a morph object. All right, now, if I elevate this now, just by, let's make it five mil. How good is that? Quite exciting actually, because it's, um, it's just perfect. It will render perfectly. And as you can see, this didn't take long at all. That's why it's called the speed modeling tutorial. All right, this is it. See you next time. Bye for now.